I think the best thing about subsidy of free renewables is potentially the fact that many more people can get involved in the renewables market. Because subsidy free doesn't necessarily mean going full merchant. I think there's going to be a massive role for corporate PPAs. And being subsidy free means that instead of everyone just contracting with governments, you're free to contract with a huge array of companies and consumers of electricity. And so that's quite an exciting route for those companies to be able to play an active part in the market. I think the subsidy free market is going to continue to grow. I think a lot of these technologies that we're using in renewables have now got to the point where their pricing is close to grid parity and they don't have to rely on subsidies anymore. But I think there's going to become a more balanced market. There's new technologies coming, there's things like floating offshore wind, there's batteries, there's hydrogen, there's probably all sorts of renewables that we haven't even thought about yet. And the new technology is going to need those subsidies. So I think we're going to see the subsidies move from what I'd call traditional renewables, onshore wind, fixed bottom offshore wind and solar towards those newer technologies to support those and bring them up. I think the things that are most suited to subsidy free financing are probably established technologies. Technologies that are not risky in and of themselves, where people understand how they work, there's a good supply chain for them and there's a lot of technical support available for the operations and the maintenance. So things like straightforward offshore wind, fixed bottom on conventional foundations, onshore wind and solar, I think are probably the first set. And I'd hope to see that grow over time as we get new technologies come through their subsidy phase and out the other side.